Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, G3Iron here. Today we are talking about some PoE POIs, some uh, personalities, some persons of interest uh, to the Path of Exile gaming community. So we're probably going to do a couple of these videos where we talk about different personalities, different community voices, different players that impact um, or have impact or have influence inside the uh, Path of Exile gaming community, whether that's through streaming, whether that's through YouTube, whether that's through pushing uh, for ladder rankings or racing attempts uh, or developing uh, mechanical tools. Uh, so lots of different people that have contributed and make Path of Exile one of the most fun action RPGs uh, ever made. And in my opinion, it's the best one on the market right now. It's really, really fun and it's free to play, of course. But you already know that. That's why you're checking this out. You're a big fan of PoE to begin with. So here are some people that maybe uh, you already know about if you're a veteran of PoE, or maybe if you're new to PoE, you haven't heard these names before. Or chances are you've heard these names maybe in global chat, maybe in trade chat, maybe on Reddit, maybe on the forums. You've heard some of these names tossed about, but you haven't been um, maybe familiarized with who they are and their role and why they're important in the community. So, uh, first off, we're going to take a look at uh, Zizran. So, Zizran is uh, a primarily a hardcore streamer. He primarily uh, streams from uh, Germany, where he resides. So, his time zone is going to be different. I'm not sure where you're watching the video from. Most of our uh, users are actually from either the United States uh, or Germany. Germany is the second largest com uh, country to watch the channel. So, if you're from Germany, Zizran streams in your time zone, uh, which is great. So, uh, he has got a one wonderful reputation among hardcore players. He's developed some really awesome uh, mechanical builds. He's uh, incredibly great at interacting with his uh, Twitch chat. Some numbers here just to give you some perspective. He's got 131,000 followers on Twitch, and he's got 47,000 subscribers on YouTube. So he's a massive personality inside the community, and he's a hardcore player. So for those of you that just think, oh, well, hardcore players, there's like a really small demographic of those people that don't really play that much. There's actually a lot of hardcore players, whether they play hardcore solo self-found or if they play hardcore in a trade league. And uh, Zizran is one of those players that is known for doing awesome stuff. So I'm going to show you a, a quick clip. Um, it's one of his top, top clips on his uh, on his Twitch channel, and we'll go from there. What he's about to do, he's in the midst of a crafting session where he is crafting a one-handed axe. So uh, let's take a look. This is, this is amazing. Is, oh my! This is the undisputed, undisputed best axe in the game for Duelist, for Banke, fucking Banke! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. Uh, so that's so that's Ziz, that's Ziz. Anyway, that's. Yeah, sure, he's reactionary, etc. But he did, at that point in time in the game, just craft the best axe in the game with his last remaining Exalted Orb. Uh, and for a long time, it was the best axe in the game. And it might actually still be. Somebody posted uh, a uh, an image of another weapon that shared the same name, the Torment Rend, and uh, posted it to the subreddit a couple of days ago and said, proud owner of the uh, Torment Rend. And Ziz freaked out. He actually posted on the uh, Reddit thread like, oh, no, I thought my account had been hacked. So this is a pretty sweet axe um, for the flat amount of physical damage that it adds and the uh, the physical DPS that it's going to give. It's it's the best uh, axe that's, that's on the market that's available. And you can see from his stream uptime tick that he had been streaming for 17 hours at that point. He's done several 24-hour streams. Like, the guy is uh, incredibly professional and incredibly dedicated to what he does, which is primarily stream and then turn videos uh, over to YouTube. So that's a little bit about Zizran, our first uh, POI person of interest in PoE. The second person that we're going to look at today is uh, Ziggy D. Good day, Ziggy D here. Uh, that's the best. That's the best I got. Uh, but Ziggy D, he's uh, he's another uh, streamer extraordinaire. He started out streaming uh, and playing a whole bunch of StarCraft II. He loves all things uh, strategy. You can check out more about him uh, and of course uh, Zizran as well via their Twitch, uh, via their YouTube, and via uh, their other social media platforms. I'm going to link everybody's YouTube. 
and Twitch, by the way, uh, down below in the video info. So that way you can go and check out their channels, follow, subscribe, etc. So that way you can get to know some more of these people that are massive, massive figureheads in the POE community. You can see Ziggy D's got 134,000 followers on Twitch at the moment, and he's got 195K subscribers on YouTube. So there's a ton of people that know about Ziggy D. Ziggy D um, frequently gets called in uh, to help out and to do some media stuff for uh, Grinding Gear Games whenever they're releasing new content. Oftentimes, uh, for instance, with the Incursion League, as it was getting ready to be released, Ziggy D was actually giving updates, and he got to go in uh, and check out um, exactly what was going on with Incursion League and give some uh, sneak previews and some teases as to mechanically what was going on uh, with the Incursion League and the Incursion mechanics. So Ziggy D is uh, both a streamer, but then he also does some reporting uh, and some, some live media as well for Path of Exile as a game, which is great. So let's take a look at one of Ziggy D's uh, uh, top clips on his channel. This is, uh, well, I'm not even going to say it. Just farming away. That was pretty Parkersville, that was, guys. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? No! Yeah, that no, is. What the fuck? That's a mirror right there, oh, folks. God. That's a mirror of oh, Calandra. Oh my god. <laughs> Caught on stream. <laughs> That's so awesome. You can just see him, he's like giggling like he's ten years old. What the fuck? <laughs> Pretty pretty awesome stuff right there uh from Ziggy as he was farming and uh happened to get a mirror of Calandra that dropped for him. Anyway. So that's a little bit about Ziggy D. Uh, he's often known in his videos for starting off his videos with "Good day, Ziggy D here." So if you're ever, you know, on a forum thread or a Reddit thread, or you see somebody on YouTube leaving a comment, "Good day, so and so here," they the chances are they're they're probably memeing and referencing uh, Ziggy D. Okay, our next uh, POE uh, POI person of interest is Chris Wilson, which I just had to put uh, this this picture uh, into this frame because it was too good to pass up. Uh, often Chris Wilson gets referred to as Christ Wilson, so uh, yeah, I'm not going to say any more than that. But anyway, Chris Wilson, he's he's the producer and dev. He's the founder of GGG, um, and uh, thanks to his genius, uh, we all get to play Path of Exile. Um, so him and a bunch of other developers and a couple other folks obviously founded uh, GGG uh, way back. But uh, he is, for all intents and purposes, the figurehead of Grinding Gear Games. He's by far the most recognizable face. Uh, he does tons and tons of media tour trips uh, all around the world and all around the internet promoting uh, Grinding Gear Games. It's really awesome actually to see that a lead dev will do interviews and he'll often do podcasts with different members of the community both Ziggy D and uh, Zizran have both done interviews uh, and podcasts that have featured Chris Wilson so it's pretty cool uh, how open he is to communicate about um, Grinding Gear Games and their processes and how they do things as well as the development for Path of Exile so if you play Path of Exile and you enjoy it chances are you owe it a lot of it to this guy uh, and to his uh, vision and to his organization and to his uh, administrative leadership and game developing talent. So great work uh, from Chris. He's also a big, big fan of Magic the Gathering. So if you actually Google him, if you Google Chris Wilson, a lot of stuff that will actually come up will be either Grinding Gear Games related or Magic the Gathering related because that's his hobby. That's one of the things that he loves to do when he's kicking back and taking time away from work, away from Path of Exile. Although he probably doesn't take much time, uh, judging from all the awesome content that Grinding Gear is always pumping out uh, about PoE. All right, our next personality is going to be Mathel. Uh, Mathel is another streamer and YouTube uh, highlight artist. He is um, he is famous for the Mathel effect. So maybe you've heard of the Mathel effect, maybe you haven't. At the very bottom of this image down below, you can see that there is a clip of the poet's pen and its value displayed on PoE Ninja, the website. And you can see how it says over the last seven days that it's gone up 103%. This is a save screenshot from a couple of different leagues ago when the Poet's Pen first came out. But anyway, the Mathel effect essentially is Mathel goes and plays a build on his stream, and then every unique or any item that he might suggest for players to use uh, essentially skyrockets in price simply because Mathel is bringing uh, attention to that build and to those items. So 
You can see here he's got 130,000 uh, followers on Twitch, and he's got 99,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. He is an awesome streamer. He mainly streams softcore, and uh, somebody once asked him what he thought of the hardcore experience, and so here's a clip of uh, Mathel uh, playing some hardcore. Softcore. Hey, you fucking know it. Yeah, let me simulate the hardcore experience for you. Oh shit, it's Minotaur with a ghost! <laughs> Let's go play another map. So he's... What he's doing there is he's making fun of all of the different people that have logout macros for hardcore, um, or players that simply alt F4 that just leave the game as soon as there's something that could kill them um, in, in the hardcore experience. So Mathel, big time softcore player. Um, and, uh, and he moves the market. He really does move the market um, for items. Like he will go and decide to build and then the, the demand for those items simply skyrockets. So take that as you want, whether or not you want to try and buy items and guess what build Mathel is going to play uh, and cash in on it. Or if you're, uh, if you're a hipster and you're just looking to play a build, Mathel's got wonderful videos that are available that show off a lot of different utility uh, type builds that aren't necessarily meta. All right, and our last personality for this video is going to be uh, Slippery Jim 8. So Slippery Jim, uh, he's not nearly as big in terms of his numbers as some of these other personalities are, but he's one of my personal favorites. Uh, I've learned so much about PoE from the aforementioned uh, streamers from Zizran, from Ziggy D, from Chris Wilson, and from reading through and tracking all the stuff that he posts in his development manifestos, from watching Mathel streams. Um, but Slippery Jim 8 uh, is probably the person that I've, <laughs> that I've learned to have the most fun in Path of Exile with. Uh, he does all all sorts of crazy stuff you can see from his YouTube channel here right now he's in the middle of doing uh, 10,000 burial chamber runs yes yes you heard me right 10 thousand burial chambers uh, that's what he's running right now and he's in the midst of it and so about once a week he does an update every thousand maps uh, or so so if you think you're having a hard time uh, or if you think you're doing a lot of maps like I think I may have done a thousand total maps this entire league uh, and here's Slippery Jim just doing 10,000 <laughs> burial chambers anyway so he's funny. Uh, his personality is very, very different. Not everybody's going to enjoy um, his style of content. But uh, nonetheless, here is a stream clip of Slippery Jim uh, as he is in the midst of farming Uber Hillock. So those of you that know about the Oni Garoshi that can drop from Uber Hillock, you have to farm it uh, before you enter into town, the very, very first instance of the game. You have to level your character up to a certain level. Uh, and then hopefully you will encounter... Uh, Hillock, the very first boss of the game, and he'll be an uber version that's enchanted, and he'll drop once you kill him, the Oni Garoshi. But here is Slippery Jim. He he streamed this way back when Oni Garoshi first came out. He streamed him uh, himself fighting, fighting against oh fighting against uh, Uber Hillock. You can see that it's Uber Hillock and that he's using Oni Garoshi there. He's grouped up all the zombies on the Twilight Strand. Oh, and you can tell he's playing softcore. <laughs> you get him, Jim. Oh man, so there's there's Jim uh, farming away, <laughs> whacking away at. And you know, like Jim does a lot of different things, um, so I would highly encourage you check out his channel. He does a lot of silly kind of testing things. And he just has fun with it. And uh, and this image of Jim is even a, a silly uh, video in one, of, in one of his Burial Chambers updates. He doesn't show any gameplay footage. He shows him walking around picking fruit at his grandmother's house. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. That is uh, a bunch of different PoE personalities. Hope you enjoyed uh, getting to know some of those personalities. I've learned a bunch from these different people. Learned how to have fun, learned mechanics, learned builds, uh, learned the ins and outs of game development, game design, and game theory, and uh, a lot of business, uh, business industry. Uh, sorts of discussions to be had from all of these different sorts of personalities. So hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit about these personalities. Hopefully you go and sub or follow these people on Twitch and on uh, YouTube. So that way you can hopefully benefit from their knowledge uh, as well. And as always, 
Feel free to leave us a like down below and sub to the channel if you enjoy daily POE content. And we'll be back if you guys like this uh, type of video. We'll be back with some more of it later on in the week. If you've got particular personalities that have been helpful to you as you've been learning about POE, feel free to leave us a comment and tell them about them. Who knows? Maybe they'll get featured in the next video. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day, Exiles.